This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. If you're going to work with macros inside of Excel, you need to go check out your macro security levels. And before we get started in this lesson, I want to put in my little disclaimer. I really believe if you're working on a work computer, you need to check with your IT department to find out what their rules are for macro security so you can follow the established rules within your business. If it's your home computer, I think that the defaults that Microsoft has set up will probably protect you very decently. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose any of the options that say not recommended because macros can contain viruses and be harmful to your computer. So now let's go see where you can change those features if you indeed need to. Inside of the Excel workbook, on the Developer tab, in the first section that's called Code, there's a button for Macro Security. And what you can do here is you can click on that Macro Security and you can go in and customize all of the security levels that you might need. So as you look through the topics on the left, when you click on a topic, it'll take you into those locations. And many of these I have never used. For instance, I don't ever change my trusted locations. I have changed the trusted documents, but the only thing I've done here is I've gone in and cleared all trusted documents so that they're no longer trusted. What happens, remember, when you open an Excel workbook that has macros enabled and you click that little button that says, yes, please, enable my macros, if you change your mind and you want to say, no, no, I don't trust that one anymore, right here you can come in and click this clear button and every trusted macro workbook will no longer be trusted and when you open them again then you have to click the button to to enable that trust. So I have used this feature before because I've needed to just make sure that every macro enabled workbook that I've enabled is a trustworthy source. So again as you work through here what you're going to do is take a look at the features that are assigned and again I totally recommend that anything that says not recommended don't choose it. Don't make that the option, unless you're working with someone who knows exactly what they're talking about. So the defaults tend to work really nicely in here, and the defaults tend to keep you protected at a great level. But again, if you do need to change anything, come into these different topics, click on the topic, and then you can go choose the option that you would like for the changing. I don't know that there are any that I would recommend changing in here because like I said, I usually leave the defaults, but now you know where you can go change these if indeed you would like to change any of your macro security options. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.